What's up guys, it's Fuego here, doing a tutorial, and we're gonna show you guys how you can create 3D text like this. Is that my computer's pretty slow, because this is an image file, not really a text file, but I'll show you how to create 3D images and 3D text in Motion 5, it's really easy, and yeah, so let's get into it. Okay guys, first you want to open up Motion, I've got my composition here, It's I just made 10 seconds, it doesn't really matter how seconds, you just have a one frame because it's text, but yep, it's I made mine 59.94 frames per second, just for the hell of it, you don't even have to have that, but that's just my default preset, so, now open up your Motion, and you're presented with this menu, and what I'm going to do is go to your inspector first, I'll just do that out of a habit. Click your text tool and just type anything. I'm first I'm going to type in my name. And we'll make it bigger for the sake of doing this tutorial. That's about a good size. My computer's pretty slow because I'm running a screen capture program at the same time. So. You know, what can you do? Alright, we'll just put that in the center. And that's all good and grand there, but we want it 3D, so you go down here and you click your replicator tool. And this will show up, and don't be confronted yet, because it's this is the important bit. You want to click one for your columns and one for your rows. Now, before we get into this, let's just say this isn't true 3D like your Cinema 4D. This is just lots of layers of 2D image that have been created to make a 3D effect. So, you want to enable 3D function, and I'll turn my size down. I like the size 40. I think it looks good. And you want to click on the box, and the whole thing runs out. Now, if we add, say... Let's go to here, and if we turn it on its side, it looks 3D, but as soon as we get to there, you can see the buildup of the ranks isn't good. Like, it's, it's got lots of spaces, so we want to up our ranks, so to type in, say, it's like 250. And this will take a, long, long, a bit longer to go across, because it has to process more 2D images, but when it loads, as you can see, it's much clearer, much closer together than it was previously, which is what we want, really. So, we're gonna put that back. And, see how it's just one big white blob, you can't really distinct much of it. You can only go down to your text function here, and then go to style. And once you've done that, you click on outline, and it will outline it eventually. <laughs> God, my computer sucks. Anyway, I'm gonna forget an outline. There we go. Now it's coming along. Eventually. Jeez, this is taking forever. It usually doesn't take this long, guys. It's this screen capture program that's making me lag. Let's see if it's. No, no, it doesn't want it. There we go. That's what it would look like, but I don't really like that. Or you can use that, or you can go to your replicator once this thing decides to turn off. And yep, you click over pattern. I just like using over pattern. See how it color is that? Well, I like using dawn just because I like it. Because it creates white front and it has like a blue bit in the center, like that. And I just like using it like that. And if this is fully customizable to your choice. If you want to adjust the size, you can make it bigger to increase the depth of it, but I'm not going to do that yet. But yeah, this is just a basic tutorial on 3D text. And if you want to look at it and it's full 3D, you can make a camera, switch to 3D, and just play around with it. 
and there we are. So yeah, this is my first tutorial. Next tutorial, I might figure out how to do um like a motion tracking of a 3D text because it's probably the same as 2D text, but you gotta add some certain things into it that can like help with the rotation in case you're like motion tracking something that's rotating around. But yeah, um, that's pretty much how you do 3D text, guys. Because you might have wanted to know how I got that um text at the beginning. Well, it isn't a text. Well, it is a text like image, but it's actually an image file with um no background. So if you want to create 3D images, you will need no background. And I'll do a tutorial just for Apple users. I haven't done a Windows one of how to get rid of the background and images using the preview function. If you don't know that, I'll put another one up. But it's the same process as the text one basically so I'm just going to do this one quickly until certain steps so this is my image I'm going to import it and make sure it's backgroundless I can't stress this enough if it's got a background then it'll turn out really it'll just turn out bad it'll take a whole long to render and you end up with like a big square that's 3D but if that's what you want then keep the background on it but if it's not then you have to get rid of the background and this works for every image guys so just want to hit your replicator again and this will happen as on the text you just want to go one and I'll just hit my size at 40 you can change the size but I just like it at 40 so click your 3d function box and for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm not going to put my ranks up, so I'll just put my ranks up to 50. So it looks nice and clean. That's basically what you do. It does the same thing with every single image. And if you colorize it, it won't colorize the front, unless I think you do reverse stacking. It, I'm not sure, but. If you do the pattern like I'm doing here, it does colorize it a bit. But if I do dawn, oops, it leaves the front standard but has like the blue thing in the middle of it. And also you can have like an additive bend blend. So you can get these types of effects going or you can just change pretty much everything here, make it look a bit like that, that looks alright, a nice warm kind of colour. So yeah, switch to 3D camera, and I'll render it out in half size actually, so it doesn't take too long to render. It still take a long time doing, there we go, looks alright, and then you put it in full, it'll look a lot sharper, and yeah, that's basically it. That's how you create 3D images, but for your ranks, as I said earlier, I'm just doing it on 50 for demonstration, but if you have a lot of time, put it up to like 500 or 1000, because it'll make a nice crisp image on the side. This is great. This is, this is actually really good for creating 3D models, so if you get like a side-on version of a car, just um make a mask around the car and I'll, there's probably a tutorial in it about that and I might make one and just get that mask and just just do the steps I've shown here about it and you can create a 3D model of a car so this is basically how you do it and yeah so hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, please like and favorite if you want another one if you've got any feedback about doing tutorials because it's my first one then Please put it in the comments. Any constructive feedback is like, greatly appreciated. And yeah, so see you guys. Bye.